Illinois lawmakers will return to Springfield today under orders from the governor for a special session on school funding. And the big sticking point, money for Chicago public schools. CBS 2's Susanna Song is live at Gale Elementary Academy, Community Academy in Rogers Park. Susanna, good morning. Good morning. You know, they should be going down to Springfield later this morning, but some lawmakers say they plan to be here at this school. They're boycotting the special session. They say they'd rather paint classrooms here than to be down in Springfield. And they want to get the school ready to open in the fall. And that is the irony of it all. Schools cannot open on time without an education bill. The governor said Democrats are holding it hostage. The Senate never sent the proposal to the governor because he threatened to veto it. Well, their proposal changed changes how Illinois distributes school money, giving more money to Chicago public schools. That includes a $250 million a year grant and pension payouts. Rauner calls the extra money to CPS a bailout for past pension payment shortfalls, and he wants to see all school districts funded fairly. We have a deadline set of July 31st. There is no reason that we can't have school funding completed and signed off and done by July 31st. So our schools can open on time. Every school in the state of Illinois can receive proper support from the state. Well, House Speaker Mike Madigan issued this scathing rebuke to Rauner, saying by calling a special session while he refuses to negotiate and even says there's nothing to discuss, the governor is continuing to create a crisis that pits one child against another. Well, time is certainly running out. That's because payments to schools are due on August 1st. Lawmakers are expected to convene in Springfield at noon today. Live in Rogers Park, Susanna Song, CBS 2 News. All right, Susanna, thank you.